Well, we have a twofold reason today. We are uh, two great steps forward for the city. We are opening a hydrogen refueling station here, which will the second one that we've opened in the city. And this one will allow us to meet every kind of hydrogen vehicle that the needs for refueling. So we'll be able to deal right across the city. Well, um, it's the inauguration of our hydrogen refueling station. This is the first 700 bar, uh, 350 bar dual hose um, a refueling station that we are actually um, uh, building um, uh, an opening in Europe. Um, Aberdeen is certainly uh, leading not only in uh, the UK um, uh, but also in, uh, on a European scale um, uh, with not only investing in the refueling stations but also um, uh, in other hydrogen um, uh, assets uh, and I hope uh, this can continue because um, uh, we need bold, um, uh, courageous and visionary statements as the Aberdeen City Council is making here to prepare uh, the city and uh, its economy um, uh, for the future. And the other thing we are doing is we are receiving uh, 10 uh, Toyota Mirai cars and that will be 25% of the total hydrogen uh, Toyota fleet in the country. Uh, so both things together show us maintaining and developing further or leading Europe as a hydrogen city. Well today we're actually uh, handing over 10 Mirai to Aberdeen City Council as they open up a new uh, hydrogen filling station here. I think there are many advantages of hydrogen itself. I mean, firstly, the key one, I guess, is uh, no emissions. If you take sort of 50 litres of water and convert that into hydrogen, and the emissions out of that vehicle are 50 litres of water. So it's a, a self-sustaining energy source, low carbon, low emission. But what, what's very important today is you've got a filling station up, and two, in fact, actually in Aberdeen, which gives you the infrastructure, gives you the ability to actually run these vehicles and see all of the benefits. One of the reasons we've partnered with Aberdeen City Council is they're very much a pioneering organisation. I think we saw that with the hydrogen bus concept. Uh, they're able to invest and put the infrastructure in to make a project like this a real success. For me, certainly, it's very, very exciting. People from companies right across the world are here, from, from Canada to Japan. I think that shows what, how Aberdeen is seen in the world of energy and in the world of hydrogen, and I think that we should all feel fortified by that in, in the city.